Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the brand new Galaxy Labs. Now, similarly to the way we have Goodlock, Galaxy Labs offers us four new applications that are intended to actually optimize the performance on our device. But not only that, it actually has one application that enables you to catch actually deleted files off your phone and enables you to actually restore them without connecting them to a PC. Uh, one of the main benefits here obviously is that this is available for Galaxy devices, but I'm also going to share with you guys the way basically to download it in case you cannot find this on your Galaxy store on your Galaxy phone. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out the brand new Galaxy Labs. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So in front of us, I have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, the reason why I'm showing both of these devices is because uh, the actual Galaxy Labs application is only showing up on my Note 10 Plus, and I'm not sure if this is something to do with the version of the One UI that's built in here. One of the main benefits of this is that some of these features that we're looking at here on the left side, this is the File Guardian, the Battery Tracker, the Battery Guardian, as well as the App Booster, are supposed to be part of uh, basically One UI 2.0. But since we're still running One UI 1.0 on here, maybe 1.1, 1 .1, so different versions here, um, we still don't have all of those features and now we're able to bring them in. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, this is called the Galaxy Labs. So there's actually two separate applications. We have the Good Lock and Good Lock still works and it does the exact same thing. And I've done another video for you guys there. If you'd like to be able to see that, I'll give you guys a link to that and hopefully a card, just showing you basically all of the benefits of having all the additional customization options that you have under the unit, as well as the family for Good Lock. Where Galaxy Labs comes in, it's actually bridging the gap into more performance tuning, not necessarily optimizations. So it's not necessarily going to just give us like a different recent app. It's actually going to help us improve the performance of our phone. So first and foremost, there's File Guardian, and this is the application I mentioned to you guys in the opening that basically enables us to undo deleted files. And that's one of the main benefits. So it says here, easily restore your deleted data. And this is something that once you install, it starts monitoring and basically watching out for everything or anything that you delete. So we'll go ahead and start off with File Guardian. Uh, first and foremost, the UI is very simple. It does match the dark UI on your phone. So if you're running the basically night mode on this or dark UI, it'll show up here. Otherwise, you can just basically, uh, it'll be the color of your system UI. Um, now again, currently only running on the Note 10 Plus, but uh, as you can see here on the right side, I'm gonna guys, give you guys a link in the description below for the actual APK so that you can actually sideload them and then install this separately on a Samsung device. And hopefully it should be able to work for you guys. Again, this is intended for Samsung devices. This is not intended to work on any other device but it should do really, really well. First and foremost, you'll notice there's different categories. So there's images, videos, document, audio, installed basic installation APKs, as well as others. It will monitor your internal storage as well as an SD card if your device supports it. So the Note 10 Plus supports an SD card. That's why we have this option. If this was the Note 10, we wouldn't have this. And then you can see a series of files here that I actually deleted earlier, like I would say yesterday morning. And the way this works, it actually doesn't show up right away. And what I mean by this is, let's say I go in there and take a picture real quick. So if I go in here, these are images and files. So I can go ahead and categorize these are the images that I deleted. Um, and you can see right there. So this one is 511, 511, 511, 511, 511. Those are all deleted in the same day, but they're all in one kilobyte file for uh, sizes. So basically, these are the things that we would want to be able to restore if we want to restore them. So you see right there, there's a file that says restore. This is was part of Telegram that was deleted and I can either permanently delete it or restore it. And it also talks about the folder that's being monitored. And we can go into that here into the settings section. So auto delete after four weeks, if you don't restore the data, you can set it up. You can actually set it up to be even a little shorter. So if you don't auto undelete it in one week, you can have it just go ahead. Otherwise it just permanently does remove it there. Uh, file filter, this is the type of file filters that you can have. We saw those on the home screen. Home filter, uh, essentially, just keep in mind, if we had an SD card, this option would be on. You can go in there and customize and turn on any folder that has files on your phone. Uh, in theory, it scans on its own. We don't have a way of adding folders. So you notice right now, there's no way of adding it. It did not have everything checked off. So I had to make sure that I went through. And as far as notifications, you can have the app icon badge and then file guardian silent sitting here. You can actually turn it off if you don't want to see it here sitting in your notification panel. And then once that's done, you can actually go in there and actually undo certain things if you don't want it. So let's say here an example, I have a video file that I recorded that was a quick little video and I can go ahead and click it. And let's just say basically I want to be able to restore it. You notice again, this was part of my telegram folder. I can go ahead and say restore and it'll give me the option basically restoring the file and it'll remove it from my list. Uh, if I had any documents, they will be in here again, and it'll tell me where it's going in. So it seems like it's doing some type of uh, restoring uh, documents for my Telegram folder, as well as, you know, basically if we have any music, you can all go in there, OGG files, installation APKs, not much, that didn't really delete anything, and if anything, that was under the other, and it works just really, really nice. 
file guardian uh, i think it's worth its weight in gold because of the fact that sometimes if we delete something we want to restore it this is going to be definitely very very nice next thing we're going to talk about is the battery tracker battery tracker takes our battery statistics on our phone to the next level and just literally puts it on crack the reason i say this if you notice the graph that we have here sitting at the top uh, first and foremost there's a whole bunch of information so first here you'll notice is that the battery level here in green shows you how my battery level kind of fluctuates over time the green bars that you see here up in the in the middle that's charging time that's when i basically plugged in my phone and sometimes what happens is i'm using my phone for let's say android auto it's charging while in the car now the blue areas is screen on and you can actually see a nice little graph this is again the last day um, you are able to basically see more information so basically you'll notice there's battery usage that's what you see about down here you notice that alexa is running in the background quite a bit um, and now unfortunately which is the weird part is uh, i was using this application to use the amazon echo buds and i actually don't i have them connected to the phone i haven't connected them for about a day now and for some reason, Alexa is still running in the background. So that's a big thing for me. And you'll notice right there, it says Battery Guardian says Amazon Alexa has occurred an issue. And you can actually go in there and go and actually optimize it by means of actually putting it to sleep when you're not using it. So right there, recent issues last three days, it'll actually show you that Google and Amazon Alexa are running. But Alexa is running up to six times more than the way Google was running. Overall, you can actually customize them. And of course, once you're done, you can remove this. The other thing we can do here on top of the fact of looking at all the different applications and the usage, uh, you can actually go into seven day mode. You can actually see the last seven days of information. And again, it's pulling this data from the existing battery information that it has. It's just graphing it for us a little bit better. Uh, you can also customize the actual period of performance. So you have the period. You can actually just say, look, I want to be able to look at the data from here to here and it'll basically aggregate the data for you. Or you could just do the full 24 hours and unselect that area. Again, works very nice, and I feel like it just gives us so much more data, specifically when we're charging and how the battery basically usage is going. Like you can see basically that I'm using a lot of battery, although my screen was not on between like roughly 11 a.m., uh, 11 p.m. and about five in the afternoon as I was using more notifications on my smartwatch. So keep in mind, your phone still uses battery. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the Battery Guardian. Now, this is the app that allowed us to basically put the Amazon Alexa application as well as the Google application to sleep. Uh, this basically just makes sure that there's no running background applications that are not being used correctly. Now, the next app we're going to talk about is App Booster. App Booster is a little bit of a, a unique application that enables you to boost performance on all your apps. The first time you run it, though, it does require you to actually leave your phone for about 30 minutes. It took me 27 minutes to run, and that's mostly because I have a lot of applications. And what essentially it's doing, it's trying to optimize. And what I'll do for you guys here is I'll go ahead and play the video right there on the right side. Um, and what it's doing for us essentially is going through and optimizing each app and on its own and providing and making sure that it basically launches as fast as possible and is the most optimum speed. So with all of those benefits and all of the things turned on, your system should feel a little bit better and a little bit faster, especially if you were maybe noticing some delays in the system UI as far as loading and anything like that. Once it's done, you can come back periodically, keep checking on it, and you can probably rerun it if there's any big issues. So. Overall, very nice, very simple set of applications. Again, this is, in my opinion, I feel like GoodLock 2.0 because these are not part of GoodLock, but you need to download the Galaxy Labs app and, of course, all of these features. Some of them will be coming as part of uh, One UI 2.0 onto our system. Once we get that, so we'll see some of these benefits. But till then, if you have a Note 10, Note 10 Plus, and you want to be able to check it out, I'll give you guys a link, of course, down there to the Galaxy Store. You'll be able to download it directly from there. Or I'll also give you guys a link to the article over at the XTA portal with a link to actually every single one of these applications to be able to sideload. So an example for us here, if I go into the Galaxy Store, and if I look for the Galaxy Labs, you'll notice right there, none of those show up for me. So when I went ahead, I went ahead and downloaded the application. I went ahead and downloaded the application. This is the Galaxy Labs installer. I'll just say install. I'll give it a second to finish. So right there, Galaxy Labs. And I'll go ahead and open it up. And this is the welcome screen. So you can basically go through. So it explains to you what it's doing. Data recovery, battery savings, and then of course, app booster. I'll go ahead and say start. And of course, it does need to install the actual Galaxy Labs agent. So give it a second. It'll go through and install it. And then lo and behold, I have access to the Galaxy Lab. And here, if I go in, I can locate it. And if you notice right there, it's saying that it does not find it. So that's again where the benefit of having access to those APKs. The agent installed perfectly fine, but we can install the other applications. So we'll go back to that link and all of them are linked for you right there. Hope you guys liked this video. It was a quick walkthrough of the brand new Galaxy Labs and of course the battery saving and optimizations that are offered between basically what we hopefully see within One UI 2.0 on our devices with One UI 1.0. So like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.